getting ready to do our beach and ocean theme and I have it all laid out here on the table just trying to make some sense of it and I wanted to show you kind of how I go about planning and organizing all the materials so that it makes sense throughout the weeks. So basically I like to do two full weeks of one uh, theme and uh, so that would be 10 days worth of activities. So I basically just kind of go through and find activities that I want to do. Um, would probably use the curriculum that I have, which I will have all these links below. Uh, most of this is actually from Cheryl from teaching two and three year olds. I love her stuff and it actually fits my age group exactly perfectly. And um, she has really great creative ideas. So I've got some of these printed out um, like this. We're probably gonna do some kind of collage with it, something that can go in the window, maybe like a sun catcher. Um, and then, you know, we've got the circle time activities. Uh, my circle time, super easy. I just like to pick two songs that are really great and then use the little, uh, the printable finger or the uh, puppets that go on the sticks and, or stick puppets, I guess, or props. And that really does work. It draws the kids in and gets them really excited about circle time. They just love holding something and being involved that way. So this will be the um, Once I Caught a Fish Alive song, and then we'll do the Seashell song. And then we will also, I like to have at least two or three process arts within the theme. And this is one we'll do the uh, jellyfish. So they paint this, and then on the inside they'll glue in these streamers for like the little jellyfish legs and then that's something that can even be like hung up I'm not sure I'm gonna hang it up in my house I think they'll just go home but um yeah so that's something that is going to be on the list and then I've got the other things that I'm gonna be setting up within my classroom I love having real images of real things and the kids love it too just having this stuff on my wall um really just pulls the theme together and I found these beautiful images just free on just Google searches and then I have an amazing printer which I'll show you in a minute and I was able to just print all these off today and laminate them and they look great and then we're gonna do a snow cone shop in the dramatic play so just keeping a really easy and simple but stuff the kids relate with and then we'll have a few um, fine motor activities I'll cut these out in strip that are kind of like long strips and I'll put them in a basket with a dry erase marker the kids really love those those, and then these will just basically be puzzles. I'm going to just have the these four letters to be working on this week. And then these are count and clip cards. And um, I won't have, of course, all these out at the same time. I'll just kind of bring them out um, and introduce them one at a time. And then this is really fun. When I was getting on and researching um, some stuff on teaching uh Teachers Pay Teachers, I found that Cheryl at Teaching Two and Three Year Olds has a brand new um, material out and it is for the Rainbow Fish, which is so exciting. And it was only $1.50. So of course I had to print all these off and laminate them and add them to my work of cutting a lot of stuff out today. But anyway, so this is my uh, laminator. I don't think it really matters what laminator you have. This one works just fine. Um, but a laminator is definitely a must if you're going to be creating your own curriculum materials and a lot of laminating pages. You just go through this like crazy and a whole ton of cardstock. So definitely uh, the laminator and the cardstock is a must because that just keeps the stuff uh, sturdy for the kids to have access to. And then this is my printer. It's the um, ink tank pro from epson i'll i'll link it I've, i'm probably getting that wrong but it's amazing it has like this tank on the side you fill those up and you can order these like pretty big jugs of ink for fairly inexpensively it's just so beats the cartridge because i'm never running out just fill this up i can just print forever i can print anything i want it's like so liberating I love it I'm just printing all the time this thing stays in my kitchen because I'm just like printing away so definitely a great investment there so here's my stuff I've kind of got it pulled together and organized getting it ready to get into my files um so what I'll do is I've got a calendar here I'm gonna just kind of uh go over this pretty quick with you and then um 
I'll write specific dates in that. I've got a basket here that has my, uh, the tabletop toys, getting those ready. I'll store them in that throughout the week. And then another kind of catch-all bin here that has some other extra items that we'll use for Play-Doh and just when we need um, an extra fine order activity to set up on a tray. And then um, I've got my books. These are just gonna go out into the room. And then here's my circle time basket. And then, so I'll get these props cut out and um, ready to go for circle time. So I'll just keep them all in this basket throughout the weeks. And then I've got um, the, bear with me here. We've got these planning pages. So these we're gonna link down below. These are all free resources. I just have printed out a bunch of these and I just pull them out and then like staple them together. You can put them in a planner or a binder or whatever you want. I'm just not a good binder person. <clears throat> I buy all these fancy binders and like never use them. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I, uh, I'm more of a like just print the pages out and then toss them at the end of the week. So that has my 10 days worth of activities. I can write them in there. And then this is a little organizer for centers. And then this one is a circle time planner. So, you know, just more like notes for myself that I can look at through the week and, and uh, see what we're doing for that day. So um, aligned with that, I've got my this file folder here and this is great because it has a lot of tabs it has 10 and then a couple extra and I'll have them labeled so if I have 10 days two weeks worth of um, uh, activities I can tuck sort of organize each thing if I have a printable that day or if we're using colored cardstock or if I'm going to introduce you know like a new tabletop activity I can put them in there and it's good to go and it's all easy and I've done the big file box before but I like this better because it just seems more accessible and then look they all stack and go together and this is it this is all my stuff for the two weeks like full curriculum and everything we're going to be doing well, almost, because I haven't filled that file up. But I just love how they stack together. So that will just go in my cabinet at the end of the day. And then in the morning, I just pull that back out. So I just, you know, because I don't have a whole ton of space, I really need it to be compact. I can't let it take over. So I'm going to go and get my room all set up and my dramatic play. So make sure to subscribe, because I will be posting a video to show you how it all turned out.